Hello there. Uh, some of you may have remembered a video I made of Design Spark Mechanical, uh, which I had a problem of trying to get a spacer plate aligned perfectly with a flange on a motor. I made the video and then asked if anybody could help with this, give some clues as how to do it. And I didn't get any replies. In fact, I got some replies later asking if I got it figured out. And at the time I did not. But now I have figured it out. And I am going to reveal all with this video now. Enjoy. Now we are faced with placing this component which I've called the spacer plate over there square on top of this face here and concentric with the spigot so that bore fits neatly on that spigot and the sides are square with the motor now the first operation involves making the spacer plate parallel to that face, the face of the motor. And the first action <clears throat> is to capture the, the whole object. Now there are three ways of doing this. Easy way and hard way. The hard way is a triple click on any part of the object. One, two, three and it is selected which is shown by the item in the tree here becoming highlighted click the left button to cancel that an easier way to do it is to draw press the left mouse button drag capture the whole thing and we've got the same result with the item highlighted over here left button clears that but of course the easiest way to do it is to just simply to click on spacer plate and it's highlighted once we've done that we have then to manipulate the anchor handle that's this thing here into this face the back face so we grab with the left mouse button the hub of the anchor and drag it to that face it changes to a cube and we can now see that there's two axes two axes parallel to the face and one normal so select the normal axis all the rest become grey then this tool over here hover on it and it is the orient to object tool click on that now on my screen I, I can see that there's an arrow and the a little object orient tool symbol the same as this one over here connected together now this screen capture I'm using might not show that, it might just show an arrow without the little icon. So you'll have to trust me that there's a little icon here, the same as the one in this box here. Right, notwithstanding that, we've got that selected, we've got the tool selected. What we do now is click on this face watch the part, the spacer plate and now it has orientated itself parallel to that face so that's one operation the next operation is to take the anchor again click and hold with the left mouse button and drag it onto one of the side plates and we see we've, again we've got two axes parallel to the plate and one normal. 
click on the normal one and again well <clears throat> we could click on that but we don't need to because I can see on my screen that I've still got the that object orient selected it's still showing the symbol in my arrow so I don't need to click that so with that now active click on the side watch the spacer plate object now it is square with the face it is parallel and square but of course it's not in line right the next operation is to drag the anchor and place it on the inside of the bow surface shown by it going dark release and it's now orientated in the middle of the bow we're then doing a linear movement here rather than an angular one so we do not want the object to orient what we need now is the up to tool which is this one here now you can select it with the mouse pointer or just hit U on the keyboard but I'll just select it and with that selected on the anchor in the middle of the bow I'll have to zoom in a bit on this we select this spigot here and watch the part again and it moves and it is now centered on the spigot rolling the the scroll wheel to move it away so now with the anchor point we, we need to move the anchor point again to the face that we want to mate which is there so we now see that the anchor is now sitting on the face or coplanar with the face and all we have to do now is select the up to tool up to the do there click the face and there is the part perfectly aligned with the motor and concentric with the spindle and spigot hope you enjoyed that hope it was useful please subscribe thank you very much bye